Hi, Dante here with another Well McLean Tech Tip. Today I'm standing here with an Aquabalance series of boilers. Our Aquabalance comes in heat only and combi versions. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to exempt the boiler from the requirement of an outdoor temperature sensor. Why would we exempt the boiler from outdoor temperature sensing? A couple of reasons. Number one, uh, let's just say we were on a job site and we've been installing all day long. We're not completely done with the job, but we are far enough along where we can start up the boiler and leave the homeowner with heat tonight, but we don't have the outdoor sensor installed yet. We've plugged in the boiler, we've tried to start it, and we're getting an A16 error code. Well, we either need to hook up the outdoor sensor or exempt, so we would do that in that, that case. There's also some applications in commercial applications or um, uh, uh, agriculture. So I had an example recently where we uh, had a job on a farm and uh, we needed a constant 190 degree water temperature. So we set the, the target temperature here for 190. We were putting that into one side of a braze plate heat exchanger and the other side of that braze plate heat exchanger we were putting in um, cold apple cider and we were heating the apple cider for a pasteurization process. And so certainly we wouldn't want an outdoor temperature sensor to reduce that 190 uh, target temperature because we would then lose our pasteurization. So uh, we exempted the boiler in that case. So we're going to talk about uh, exempting. Now remember the outdoor sensor is required in a residential application boilers being of 300,000 BTUs or less. That was uh, part of the residential uh, 2007 Energy Act that requires that you know there's a means to reset water temperature. Um, so there's a, there's a component of savings there. Homeowners like this because in cases you can save estimates near 20 percent on your annual fuel bill just by having the outdoor temperature sensor. So the outdoor temperature sensor saves energy and it does that by matching the heat output with the load. And so what do I mean? Um, let's use an example. Let's say we have a residential home heated with cast iron radiators and we set our target temperature to be 180 degrees for heating. And in that case we'll then uh, on the coldest days of the year, we're going to get that 180 degree water temperature. But what happens in September, October, or March, April, May, when we don't have quite such cold temperature, the load is not so high in the house, so the demand is lower, and the outdoor temperature sensor reports that back to the boiler, and then what it does is it reduces that 180 to something less. You can find those curves in the booklet. Um, I believe that would be on page 67 of your, your booklet. On page 66, it talks about how to exempt, but I'm going to show you the real quick, uh, quick and easy way to exempt this boiler. Let's go ahead and exempt it. If we take a look at the controller here, so we interface with the control, and there's some simple buttons here. At the top of this uh, round face, we have our DHW buttons, and that's controlling our DHW temperature for combi boilers. Um, so we can adjust that from 104 to 131 degrees. And down at the bottom here we have our central heating plus and minus buttons and then we can control our central heating from 68 to 194. Over here on the far side I have this eco comfort slash power button so multiple functions there and then right below that is the reset button. All of these buttons have multiple functionality uh, depending on what you want to do getting into that controller, looking at parameters and so forth. So for this case today we need to uh, interface with the Eco button and the DHW Plus. And when I get to the Eco and the DHW Plus we're going to push and hold those two for 10 seconds. Inside of that 10 seconds the boiler has a little timer, a little counter. Uh, there's a little line in there that moves with every second so once we get to 10 it'll take me to the parameter for exempting outdoor reset. Uh, let's take a look and see how that's going to work for us. I'm going to come to the DHW plus button and I'm going to come over here to the eco button and I'm going to hold those two in for 10 seconds. There goes my counter. It's, uh, it's going to count that out for us automatically and then once we get to where we need to be we're flashing a zero. So that zero means that the boiler is expecting an outdoor temperature sensor to be connected, otherwise the A16 error code. Now to exempt that boiler, I would just come here to the central heating negative button and I'm going to make that a one. And then once I want to get out of there, there's no further saving that you have to do other than just reverse our steps back out. 
So say tomorrow when we come back, complete the installation, hook the outdoor sensor up, uh, we would come back, same steps, and make that one a zero. But we're gonna leave this one exempted and we're just gonna uh, exempt our way out of here by pressing that plus and minus. We're gonna start our 10 second counter. We're back to a normal screen and we're ready to make some hot water without the outdoor temperature sensor. Remember, when there's no sensor, it's always gonna to try to get to that high, highest target temperature, which in this case, we're set for 180 degrees. I hope this tip was helpful. Hope you have a great day. Look for us on YouTube for additional videos. And if you have tech service questions, feel free to give us a call at 800-654-2109. Have a great day.